Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. And I'm Kyle Linsky. People who live in a quiet local neighborhood today heard two gunshots at about 2 o'clock this morning. And now two members of their community are dead. As David Winter reports, the Claremont County Sheriff is investigating what appears to be a double homicide. My grandma said she had gunshots and I was like, okay, like I look next door out the window and all I see is somebody laying on the ground in the doorway and I'm like, oh God, somebody better call someone. Julia's grandma did. She called 911 and officers responded to the Richmond Estates Mobile Home Park to find the two men who lived in the home dead. We spoke to another neighbor who said he heard two gunshots as well and added he saw a sedan leave shortly after he heard the shots but prior to police arriving. None of the commotion woke Destiny Coppage and her family who live right across the street until police knocked on their door at about 3 a.m. Now the emotional toll is setting in. Last night we saw him out there walking his dog Blue and today I see them, you know, wheeled out of their house by the coroner and that's very sad. It's definitely not something you ever want to have to see. Lots of children in this very tight-knit neighborhood. In fact, the woman you just heard from said that she has two children that live in a room directly across from where those shots were apparently fired. But the talk of the neighborhood is the tragedy atop tragedy for this well-known, well-liked family who throws the annual 4th of July celebration for the entire trailer park. Neighbors say the woman of the home died late last year from COVID complications. Now her husband and adult son are dead. To lose your whole I mean, half your family within a whole eight, nine months span, that's kind of crazy. Like, that's insane. A family member taking away Blue, the family dog, perhaps the only survivor left in the home and the only witness to what happened. In Ohio Township, David Winter, Local 12 News. Deputies have not released the men's names and they are not saying if they have any suspects at this time.